Welcome back to Marvelous Dads. I'm Dave Mendonca. Today I'm talking about episode six of She-Hulk. All right, there are spoilers ahead. So just to give you a heads up there. So right off the top, so episode five, tease Daredevil. Guess what? No Daredevil whatsoever in this episode. Instead, we get a self-contained wedding episode. So we have Jen Walters being invited as a bride, a bridesmaid to, I think it was like an old high school friend's wedding. So that's pretty much a lot of the episode is that she's off, you know, being a bridesmaid and she was hoping to make a big splash as she Hulk at this, at this wedding and stuff like that. Just cause I guess there's old friends there that, yeah, I don't know. She's always, uh, I guess a lower tier friend amongst them. And she thought she could make, uh, a better impression is She-Hulk, but uh, the lady that wanted, you know, who's getting married, it's her day, pleaded with her to not be She-Hulk. Anyway, so we get it, you know, Jen Walters, she's feeling sad about herself. She's uh, She doesn't have a plus one. She's at the wedding. We get it. So anyway, I, I felt just, I don't know, man, it's just a series. I Listen, writing... TV is or writing streaming shows, TV, movies, it's hard work. You know, I believe the head writer the, is Jessica Gao and her team. All the respect to you. It's hard. Comedy is hard to write. And this episode just wasn't really that funny. Um, there was an introduction about uh, Mr. Immortal. So that was a cool character. This is a guy that apparently never dies. He's actually in the comics and he really hates conflict. He's been married multiple times, but each time he like kills himself to get out of any sort of conflict or dealing with conflict with his past wives. And also, I think he had like a boyfriend or something. So that's pretty funny. Uh, that, that was not bad. Uh, the rest of the episode, again, it's just more uh, about Jen Walters just feeling sorry for herself. And I, I wish it wasn't the case. I, I was hoping Daredevil would make an appearance. But what are you going to do, right? This is what we've been dealt. And it's unfortunate. This this series is really, you know, like if the She-Hulk team's watching, I'm so sorry. Like I, I don't want to be that guy and say that the series is mediocre. But so far, it's it's been mediocre. It's been really inconsistent. And episode six, uh, for me, it wasn't that great, um, except for the ending. I thought the ending was pretty interesting what it teased so leading up to the ending we have um jen walter's best friend nikki and a colleague I th it's a mallory book as you may recall from the past episode uh they teamed up on mr immortal's uh case where all his past wives are trying to sue him they, they found him i guess through this website called uh influencia pardon me if i i i or sorry, not influence yet. I think it was intelligentsia. There we go. I think that's what it is. Anyway, so Nikki and uh, Mallory are looking through this website because they were tipped off about uh, Mr. Immortal. Oh, that's how Mr. Immortal was found out. It was by all, um, all these wives checked out that website and they found him, that kind of thing there. They wanted to like sue him and get their money and that, all that sort of thing. Anyway, it was through that website um, Nikki finds that there's mentions of She-Hulk like on the side there on the, on the screen and some pretty brutal stuff, like dark stuff, like people wanting her, you know, canceled, killed, that sort of thing. So the word intelligentsia actually has a pretty profound meaning in the comics. Apparently intelligentsia was like a, a super villain team. That was created by, I believe, the leader, which, as you know, is like a Hulk villain. And a part of that team are people like Modoc, Doctor Doom. Uh, those are some I can re I, re I can remember off the top of my head. So what's interesting is towards the I think it was the last scene of this episode, you have like a shot of a laboratory. Well, first you see a shot of like um, Jen Walters with. A guy, they're just talking over fries, sharing some fries at, at, at the wedding reception or something at the wedding, right? And then all of a sudden, the camera angle changes and it, it dissolves to, to this like computer screen monitoring or keeping an eye on Jen Walters. 
talking about like her vials, like there's like medical stuff on there on the screen and whatnot. Then it, you see the laboratory that that laptop or computer was in. And there's like a person with like a bent needle that needles from a previous episode where I think it was the wrecking crew wanted to extract blood from She-Hulk, but couldn't do it because obviously she hulk skin is impenetrable, right? So you see like this lab guy with a bent needle and he's carrying it, places it down. Then he opens like a new case of like syringes. There's three syringes and he's getting it ready. Uh, actually, before he does that on the computer screen, I forgot to say that there was like a question is the next phase of the plan ready and it's dash Hulk King. So when I saw that right away, I thought the leader, I thought, okay, maybe this is his master plan. This is, he's the guy behind all of this. I know in previous episodes, I speculated about, I know one episode I speculated about Kingpin because there's a, because there was a daredevil tie, but now you get this reference Hulk King right away. I got the sense of like the leader and that you got the intelligentsia and the leader created that. So that was interesting. That was probably the most um, intriguing part of the episode about the big bad behind all this. And apparently, if you've been doing any reading about uh, Marvel Studios projects, uh, Captain America 4, uh, the villain there is going to be the leader. So that would be a connection to the series. I'm just curious to see what the leader does here and how it connects to Captain America 4. Also, uh, the intelligentsia, like I said, MODOK is in that. And from what I remember, MODOK is like an Ant-Man uh, villain. So I don't know if he'll appear in this episode, but they're just, if this is all correct about the intelligentsia, they're, they're laying uh, or planting the seeds for this super villain group. So that, that was pretty cool. Other than that, Man, it just, again, it was just another episode that really didn't pack, did not pack much of a punch. The comedy wasn't really there. Mr. Immortal was pretty cool. Like there was that one scene where both Mallory and Nikki were just tearing into him about how he would avoid conflict. They really took offense to how he treated these women as, you know, ex-wives and stuff. Then all of a sudden he takes a header right through the plate glass window in that lawyer building and he just just plummets to his death like he slams into a car then he just gets up you know crinkles his neck and there you go it's all good and i believe the actor uh, who played him was in um that bobo fett disney plus show he was an actor in that so that's pretty cool but other than that man i really like honestly she hulk team if you're watching this i really really wanted to enjoy this episode and enjoy the series, but man, it's just, I know, I know you guys referenced it off the top in the episode that it's like a self-contained wedding episode and how it came unexpected and that sort of thing. I get the meta. I just, I, I, I don't get why it had to happen. Why did the, the wedding have to be, you know, the background, the environment for this. So I, 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 I also got, Sorry about that. I also got like a very uh, bridesmaid kind of feel, a flavor in this episode too, uh, when she was like interacting with the other bridesmaids and high school friends and all that. But still, it didn't do much for the episode. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, she Hulk team, it's just been inconsistent. I know you guys are doing your best, and I just don't know what to tell you. Just it, it was it was mediocre. It was a mediocre episode. I, again, I hope it. The next episode, in terms of entertainment value, kicks, kicks it up a notch. Like I, I could see why. I guess I could see why you have Jen, you know, Jen Walters at the wedding because then you can plug in the surveillance of the potential intelligentsia tracking her down, or maybe that you know, there's some things to. Okay, let's talk about this. Okay, the guy she meets at the wedding that she gets cozy with a little bit. Maybe he's got a connection with the intelligentsia. Maybe that's the end. Maybe that's why she's there just to sew things together. It's possible. Another interesting thing to, to keep an eye out for is Mallory book. There was a, a scene where she and Nikki are looking at the website, the intelligentsia website. And Nikki's, you know, obviously very disturbed by all these like death threats and stuff like that saying that, Jen Walters needs to know. 
And Mallory says, like, you know what? Don't put this in her head. Let, let it be that kind of thing. Very suspicious, right? Why would she say that? Like, why, why would you do that? Like, these are very serious threats. And why would you suggest for Jen Walters or for Nikki to not even say them to like Jen Walters? I, there's something like there's something a bit fishy there. Like I know in the comics, Mallory book is a, not a good character. I think there's there's some issues there. There's some you know she's not on She Hulk's side. So watch for a potential heel turn. I, there there might be a point in a future episode where she's a baddie. So just keep an eye on that. Anyway, that's my take. Um, it wasn't the greatest episode. It, it, it was mediocre, unfortunately. Um, there's a, there was a chuckle here or there. I liked the tease at the end about you know the potential super villain team and the leader. That's cool. But other than that, it was just another, unfortunately, disappointing episode. And uh, let's let's hope. You know, I think there's three episodes left. Let's hope this series finishes strong and let's see daredevil let's see some cameos again let's let's turn it up a notch so anyway that's my take uh feel free to share this video feel free uh to comment below let me know your thoughts about episode six and subscribe to the channel appreciate it as always until next time see you later